ito ay papalabas natin for the reasons na madali yung magsalita kung anong ibig sabihin ng patrolling. Ang pagpapatrol, kinakailangan either by, by twos, by dalawang pulis na nakikita na lalakad-lakad. Hindi ba maganda pag nakita yung mga PNP natin, naglalakad na may katandem, naglalakad lang sila. Dito, pabalik, tapos may iba, naglalakad. Tapos mamaya, ililipat sa lugar, maglalakad, tapos sa radyo, check, check. Tapos mamaya, nakikita mo, tumatakbo yung mga patrol cars. Well, maganda po yun. Kaya yun ang sinasabing presensya. Kasi pag nakita ng mga masasaman loob, snatcher man yan, hold upper man yan, o wala lang magawa, magugurus yung nada, abay, madadali kayo kasi nakikita yung presensya ng mga polis natin. Sa Estados Unidos, yung pag-aaral ho namin, lagi ho kami, yearly ho kami nung araw, pre-pandemic, yung before pandemic, lagi po kami pumupunta, pinag-aaralan ho namin, there, sila ho'y natutuwa sa ginagawa. Kami ho sa BITAG, BITAG Multimedia Network, the ride along team may access po kami sa mga infrastructure ho nila na hindi na pinapapasok ng ibang ibang media pero they allowed us in the condition wag ilabas and they are more concerned na clear na po kami sa sa states kahit sa embassy to cover police infrastructure specific group po to ngayon international production ho to kami ho may gawa nito sorry lang ho wala pa ho yung translation sa baba para maintindihan niyo kaya para ho kayo nanonood nang palabas sa Estados Unidos pero ang nag-shoot ho nito mga taga-bitag uh, medyo maaliw ko ng konti may iba naman ng konti ano? practice natin yung ating English <laughs> panoorin So we have uh, six beats in Daly City, six different districts. So we each get assigned a different district every day. And today I am beat one, two, which is kind of northeast part of Daly City. And it tends to be the busier district, so it makes it a lot of fun. Ten more. Today is an exceptionally sunny day for Daly City. Today may be a busy day or a busy night when you have a lot of people out, a lot of kids are getting out of school for the summer. And our calls usually increase then, especially when it's a nice day out. Summertime, we get a lot of calls about parties late at night, you know, house parties that sometimes get out of control. A lot of times alcohol is involved and alcohol makes people do stupid things that they normally wouldn't do. T12 out with one mission, Vista Grande. Let me talk to this gentleman right here. Trying to get a light? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, I just stopped here to try to get a light. But I can't find my matches. Can't find your matches? Yeah. Don't have a lighter or anything on you? No, I'm maybe looking for a store. What's the camera for? Oh, they're just here filming. Just oh, me? Yeah, just I ignore can... them. Just, yeah, my interactions oh, with my people. Goodness. What's your name? Mike Owens. Mike Owens. Okay, you on probation or anything? No, I'm not. You ever been arrested? No, I was just over at uh, North County Mental Health. I stopped here to get some matches. Okay. 
Do you have any form of uh, identification on you by any chance? Yeah, I do. Where are you from? Uh, South San Francisco. South City? Oh, here's my license right here. Oh, you found him. I, yeah, See? Look, yeah, look, you give me. Good thing I stopped and talked to you, right? Thank goodness uh, it doesn't upset me getting questioned by the police. I wouldn't have them. <laughs> yeah. You're uh, from South City? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 21229 by number? Is this a good address for you on Joaquin? Yes, it is. Adam 679-2319, lost to Owens. You run him in house also. Do you work, Mike, or what do you do? No, I don't. I'm in mental health right now. That's it's schizophrenia, so I'm okay. trying to exercise with my bicycle. Does that help you, the exercise? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay. You don't have anything on you you're not supposed to have, right? No, no weapons or anything? No. Okay. You can check me. Okay, cool. Um, you're staying in South City these days? Yeah. Okay. Did you ride your bike here from uh, South City? From North County. North County, yeah. okay. You going back home after this? Yeah, I'm heading towards actually, I'm into AA Alcoholics Anonymous. So that's not yours, is it? That alcohol bottle no, right there? No, okay, no, good. No. Is that working for you? What's that? The AA? Yeah, AA is awesome. I love AA. I love AA. That's a hard uh, habit to quit, isn't it? Same with any drug, yeah. especially cigarettes. Hard to give up. Yeah. But everyone's got a vice, right? But I love AA. I admit Good. Uh, Never been arrested? Maybe once? Yeah, I've been arrested many times. Temple or anything, South City? What were you last arrested for, Mike? Uh, methamphetamine. Okay. And you don't have anything on you you shouldn't no. have? Okay. Do me a favor, just keep your hands out of your pockets for now. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to make, make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. It looked like you were smoking, and you can't be smoking within 20 feet yeah, of the entrance yeah. there. Trees is one of my old neighborhood that come over. Are those bonsai? Uh, those are, uh... Just keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, bonds are, yeah. 212. Wax on, wax off. You can keep your hands down. Just don't Excuse be sticking me. them in your pockets. Tower. I'm just going to make sure you don't have anything illegal on you okay. since it was cool to look. I'm just waiting for my partner, and then luckily you found your light, and you'll be okay. on your way. Thank you. All right. What time does your AA meeting start? Uh, maybe 7 o'clock. I'm not sure. Oh, you got some time. Yeah. What are you going to do in the meantime? Uh, there might be a 6 o'clock meeting, I'm not sure. Cool. You grew up in South City? Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go to high school? Um, El Camino. El Camino? So. Cool. All right. Do you have any other family members you live with? What's that? Uh, my, my brother. My other brother's in jail. What's he in jail for? Uh, they, they caught him with meth on, 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 a, on a bike with a motorcycle. Yeah, um... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> When was the last time you used meth, Mike? Oh, shit. It's probably been, like, I think, uh, I got eight months clean time, I think. Eight months? Yeah. Good for you. Like I said, that's a hard one to give up. Appreciate Same you. with alcohol. Thank you. Okay. So, Mike, nothing on you shouldn't have, right? No. Okay, and you don't mind if I check really quick? What's that? You don't mind if I check really quick? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Why don't you put that down on the floor for me and just turn around and face that wall? You don't have anything on you that's going to poke me or prick me? No, I don't. Okay. Thank you, huh? Okay. Just face that way for me. Put your hands behind your back, on your low back. Spread your feet for me. Stand for me, okay? Because uh, you can use this to hurt one of us. Yeah. What's in here, Mike? 212 for pursuit. He consented to a search of his person in his right coin pocket. I found a, about a one by one inch folded up piece of paper and I also felt like there was something inside of the paper. I gave it to my cover officer and he saw me give it to her and he just took off running. Gave him several commands to stop. He ignored my commands and kept running and he didn't give up easily. He still wasn't listening to our commands to get on the ground. So he's going to jail for possession of uh, drugs and resisting an officer. 
So, yeah, that's it. We'll go back to the station and talk to him. station so my partner brought him back to the station and he's in the prisoner processing center here so we're gonna go start the paperwork to book him into the county jail and um, read him his Miranda rights see if he wants to give any sort of statement about why he ran <clears throat> so yeah come on in you told him to take case number if I don't already have one Mike. Sorry about that. Mike, I want to be able to talk to you about what, what just happened. I just got to read you something yeah, really yeah, quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot Every afford to hire a... Years, hey, hold on. Let me finish reading this to you, okay? And then, then you can talk. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes, I do. Okay. Why'd you run? Uh, drugs made me nervous, so I ran. Yeah. He had a little bit of what I think is methamphetamine on him, and if he hadn't run, it would have been a simple citation, and he would have been on his way. But since he ran, um, he's arrested for the methamphetamine and being under the influence of a controlled substance and resisting a peace officer, and he's going to jail tonight. So you see how it can turn in front to a simple stop and turn into this where you end up running after him and taking him to jail. So, so he's got a couple of charges on him. As I said, he's got resisting a peace officer, which is a misdemeanor. He's got possession of a controlled substance, which, which is a misdemeanor. Um, he has been under the influence of a controlled substance, another misdemeanor. Uh, being drunk in public, another misdemeanor, and misappropriation of lost property, the bike, which is another misdemeanor. So he's got about five misdemeanors. No felonies, but it's a, it's a good case. Got him off the street. Yeah, so I'm going to transport him down to Redwood City. He consented to a urine sample to see the concentration of methamphetamine in his urine, so I'm going to take that to jail where it gets deposited. He'll get booked into jail, and then the methamphetamine that he had on him is going to go to the San Mateo County Lab in, in uh, San Mateo for further analysis. Yan hoy production ho ng Bitag Multimedia Network International Production para doon sa aming US Cups. Normally, ang ginagawa ho namin may Pinoy US Cups. Kaya lang, pakiusap ho ng mga US police na if at all possible, wag na lagyan ng Pinoy US Cups. Kasi pag isila'y Pinoy na raw, kahit Pinoy ka nga, pero pag nasa US ka, US Cups na lang. So, ginawa ho namin. nag po kami sa mga Filipino police noon. And then, medyo naingit po yung mga iba roon na sa bakit ganun lang. Eh, ginawa ho namin international para patas-patas na po. Ano? At simula ng pandemya na natigil po kasi doon ho sa restriction of travel but you can expect yung pagbabalik ho ng uh, mga production yan. Uh, pag medyo nag-mellow down na po ito yung COVID-19 ho natin. In the meantime, napansin niyo ho ba? Yun ho sinasabing pagpapatrol, may sistema ho sila. Magpapatrol ka either by beat, naglalakad ka, pareho sa Hong Kong. Pero sa US, ang pagpapatrol, ikot-ikot kasi malaking lugar, ikot-ikot ka lagi sa mobile. Yan. Napansin niyo? Wala pang two minutes dumating agad yung mga responde. Ganun ho. Madali. Madaling tawagan, mga radio nila. So, sa atin naman, inuna natin mga body camera instead of radio. Wow. Meron kasi ako nabasa kanina, eh sir, may trouble ho. Agad tapos, tinawagan ho namin ng polis. Malapit sa may 7-11, paglapit namin, ay busy ho, naglalaro ho ng mobile legend na sus Mariosen. <laughs> Give me a break. 